What is going on guys, it is WrestleGamia here, back with another news video. At 2K20, what an utter disappointment you were. So much potential wasted, but is it too late? Well, despite the number of game-breaking glitches found in the game thanks to developers' visual concepts, owners of the game are still trying to ride out the negatives, but some have just given up. Whilst glitches aside, we had some fun with the game. Eventually, after many days without a response from 2K, they announced that an official patch would be on the way. The patch 1.02 was released on 1st November 2019, and it attempted to fix some of the most game-breaking glitches, and finally got custom logos working. Pretty much one of the biggest issues of the game. Whilst it managed to fix some other issues, many still remained and included some new glitches like 2K menu not being shown and not being able to get past it unless the user did a hard reset. But hopefully those remaining issues might have been fixed with a new patch 1.03. 2K released it last night and detailed a list of improvements including general improvements of reported crashes throughout the game, opacity issues causing invisible creator superstar parts, crashing custom arenas using imported images, improvements to sweat, we really didn't even know that was an issue, addressed to reported input settings not saving on PC, they also had improvements to characters including general improvements to the hair and cloth behaviour, missing hair and cloth throughout the game, some images may have failed to be correctly displayed on the superstars' attire, crash when using DLC creator superstar parts for my players, a male face paint colour changes to appear correctly in game, this one was quite a regular issue, of hair floating with certain superstars, assigning locked moves when user previews and selects it inside of a move set for my player, and another big issue was creator superstar t-shirt logos may appear incorrectly in game, as sometimes they would move during gameplay. They've also made some changes to universe mode, including a crash that may occur when selecting a save slot, importing roster and other settings when creating a new universe save, general crashes when loading into a match for the first time with several creations, improvements to six-man tag matches, and a crash may occur when simulating to WrestleMania. Not only that, but there were some gameplay and online improvements, including improvements to striking, aiming and dash strikes, and reported concerns with soft lock in pin minigame after performing certain moves. With regards to online, there were crashes that may occur in Road to Glory when using DLC creator superstar parts, Crashes that might occur when downloading superstars with custom images, images that fail to display correctly in custom arenas, the white texture issue that may occur in some downloaded arenas, and just general logos. But whilst this patch was mainly there to improve the game, catastrophically, players found that if they downloaded the patch that they presumed would help them play the game, they actually found out that their save file had been corrupted. Yes, tons and tons of game hours gone in an instant. YouTuber Smack Talks tried to warn people on Twitter saying, Warning, installing patch 1.03 on PC will corrupt your game save and cause you to lose all data. 2K support WWE Games, is there anything that can be done to avoid this? He then followed up with, WWE Games have now released a second patch for PC users that downgrades the game back to 1.02. If you never launch the game after installing the 1.03 update, your save game might be okay. Others unfortunately weren't so lucky. YouTuber Element Games tweeted this after downloading the patch, just got this after downloading the WWE 2K20 patch. Bring back use, hashtag fix WWE 2K20. He then followed up with, what the hell 2K, I'm shook. The patch corrupted the save, so I remade all my attires and now there's another patch and it's corrupted the save again. Wondering if 2K are just doing this on purpose and sitting back watching the world burn for the laughs. Another user, Conman167, wasn't so lucky as well, as he tweeted, What? No, you gotta be kidding me. I spent over 70 hours creating the Conman universe. I just updated the game and it corrupted my save file. If the WWE 2K20 Conman universe is gone, I don't know what to say. This is my job. Fix your damn game. Losing a whole universe can be heartbreaking at times, as many hours have been put in to create it. On top of that, many users have complained that there have been no changes to the game even after the patch has been downloaded. Reddit user Fallen Temptation posted a number of issues still present in the game, the only fix being you can now download everything from community creations. 
However, he went on to say, Logos still go higher than they should. Downloading an arena with logos still caused the arena to have no logos. Baron Corbin and Alexa Bliss's title entrances haven't been patched in yet. Create a championship hasn't been patched in. Well, in all fairness to 2K, they haven't announced that they have put it in this patch. Graphics still look like PS2 while using custom arenas. The Scott Steiner headgear glitch has been fixed, but you can bypass that if you have a superstar with that glitch already. If you do, just go to Edit a Wrestler and press Import Parts. You can now select the Steiner headgear and BAM it works. Custom attire still go John Cena in Universe Mode match cards. We're guessing he means it disappears. The Fiend's jacket has been fixed in Creator Wrestler, but it's now oversized. The Fiend's mask still looks weird in Creator Wrestler. When downloading an attire with hair dye, it resets while loading it in Creator Wrestler. Custom matches still glitch in the game when adding them to Universe match tables. Now the deleted save error seems to have affected PC users mostly. Now this is the third patch and things are still broken with WWE 2K20. How many patches is it going to take to get this game playable? Has this been the final straw for you? Have you already traded your game in? Have you experienced any of these problems? Have you seen any improvements other than community creations? Let us know in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling video game content.